Welcome to episode two of the Building Guide. If you saw the first one, you'd know that our under slab is prepped with plumbing. Now we're laying down insulation. We've got eight inches of insulation on all surfaces. Roxel comfort board on the exterior and under the main slab. But since comfort board hasn't been tested yet for the added weight of a footing and load bearing wall, Roxel engineers suggest we use EPS foam under the footing just to be safe. Up against our forms, we first installed a cement board followed by two foot high panels of comfort board IS, offset in the joints to further reduce heat loss. Uh, the cement board will be attached by tie straps that are going to pass through the insulation and be set in concrete, so when we remove the forms, the cement board is already attached and ready for parging. You'll see more on that in the uh, upcoming videos. Now we're laying down Roxel Comfort Board CIS under the main slab. The CIS is a more rigid and dense product than the Comfort Board IS, so it's a lot more durable while we're walking all over it. It installs tightly together and it stays in place without slipping around. Uh, foam often will do that, especially when you're doing multiple layers like we're doing here. The hardest part about doing a really good job on your insulation under the slab is around the pipes. Uh, it's a lot more work, but again, we found this quite easy with the comfort board because it cuts really easy, you can also compress it to make it fit in place where you want it, and it keeps its R value when it's compressed as well. Most often with a slab on grade, they're built similar to a basement where the footing is poured first and after that sets, you come back and you pour the floor. What we're doing here is called a mono pour. Uh, it's all done in one shot, so there's no great structural advantage to this. It just means that it's one trip for the concrete and pump trucks, uh, and that's the reason that you see the slope on the edge of the footing that we're insulating here. Now that insulation's complete, we're ready to install the vapor barrier. That's going to be a bit different than you may be used to seeing, so uh, come back and check it out in episode three. Thanks for watching. <laughs>